If you would like to charge your Xiaomi M365 by using simple USB-C PD charger, then in this episode I will show you how to do it. Actually, you will be able to charge not only Xiaomi, but other e-bikes, other foot scooters, which are under 50 volts. Thanks to this tiny magic box and the best thing of all, you are able to do it by yourself. And actually, after some testing, I can say that it's working better than stock Xiaomi charger. So what is the plan? How all this working? Actually, super easy. You need simple USB CPD charger. In my case, I'm using Genuine Xiaomi with output power 65 watts, which is around 20 volts, 3.25 amps. So thanks to this charger, you can charge your notebook, smartphone, or other device, which can be charged by simple USB C port. Next thing is USB C trigger. This thing is triggering USB C charger to work all the time on full power. So you are connecting this thing to USB C charger. Next one is small magic box, but actually there is no magic inside. This is simple printed case. I made it for this project so you can download and print it for free. All links in the description. It looks super nice. Inside we've got step up converter and I could say that this one is one of the best if we consider price and quality because under it we've got this huge aluminium plate which really helps to cool down this beast. We can control the amperage and voltage because we've got these two knobs. Over here we've got the voltage input, so here we are connecting the USB-C trigger and to the same port I connected this fan which is under the case. It can be powered by 24 volts, so on the input we've got 20 volts, so no problem for it. And on the output over here we are connecting any kind of cable you like. In my case I use this one from Xiaomi M365. To mount converter to the case you have to use four screws. As you can see, I use only two and also to mount fan to the case, you are using the screws. Let me show you how it looks inside. Inside, we've got four spots to mount the step up converter to the case and four spots to mount to the fan. As you can see, those spots are a little bit higher than the bottom part. Thanks to it, the airflow is increased. The fan cable is going through the case, so it's going over here. Also, we've got extra hole for it, and from the bottom, we've got the fan. Of course, I mounted fan like this because we've got this extra protection, so even if you touch the fan, the fan will be not stop it. And if the holes will be too small, then you can use some bigger drilling tool to make it a little bit bigger. Actually, I use this one to make holes on the a little bit bigger so I've been able to fit those bigger screws. So one more time how all this working USB-C PD charger you are connecting to USB-C trigger now on the output you've got 20 volts USB-C trigger you are connecting to magic box so to step up converter now you can set what voltage will be on the power output from magic box so between 20 to even 50 volts power output you are connecting to any kind of cable which you would like to use to charge your Xiaomi M365 like in this case or to any other connection and you can ask what is this yellow cable this is simple XT30 connector which I using between as you can see any kind of connection because those connectors are super cheap small they can survive really huge amperage over 30 amps and there is like no way to get a short circuit they are really well done now we'll do some tests because I have to prove you that it's working actually I did some long tests yesterday I charged my Xiaomi Pro with extra battery for over 30 minutes and I noticed that the temperature of the shell was only 30 degrees the hottest part inside was this coil it was like 45 degrees but everything under 70 degrees will do the job and this magic box charged my Xiaomi with power over 1.8 amps so it's I think the same or better score than this huge stock Xiaomi charger I am impressed I thought that the amperage will be lower but yeah it's freaking insane something special for newbies you have to set correct voltage to charge your electric thing usually that kind of voltage you can find on power supply so on Xiaomi and 365 you can see 42 volts so let's connect magic box to USB charger and fun is working the airflow it's quite nice. As you can see now, voltage is too low because it's 38.97 volts. We need 42 volts. So we have to rotate this knob from the top. So this one. If you rotate the other one, no worries. It will just increase or decrease the amperage. But 
This one will increase or decrease voltage, so let's rotate it. Clockwise is decreasing the voltage. Counterclockwise is increasing, so let's try to set 42 volts. Do it slowly, take your time. And now we've got almost 42 volts, so yeah, it's super precise. Nice is the step up converter. But if you would like to extend lifespan of your batteries, I would recommend to go at 40.5 volts. And there we go, 40.5 volts. This is the best voltage if you would like to seriously extend lifespan of your battery pack and still got great working range. Now is moment of true bros, will it work? So let's power up magic box. Fun is working. Now let's start to charge Xiaomi. And yeah, it's charging. As you can see, we've got 0.8 amps. So it's super nice. Well, now you can ask why it's so low because it's charging also at the same time my extra battery. So my extra battery is like 20 amps. So more amps is going through extra battery to charge it. But when I disconnect my extra battery from Xiaomi, then we've got 1.75 amps. So yeah, as you can see, it's working pretty nice. If you've got one battery in your Xiaomi, then you can see the correct amperage. So 1.75 amps and it's charging like this all the time when I connect my extra battery. So now it will charge two batteries at the same time. Then as you can see, the amperage will be lower, but yeah, it's still charging with the same power, almost 1.8 amps. So it's working. I would leave it like this for like a couple minutes. So you will see that all is good. So I think if you are curious how it's working and if you will make it, then I recommend to try it. If you have any questions, then leave it in the comment section. I will back to you and try to help. Yeah, boy, it's working. So if you like this episode, hit like button, subscribe. See you in the next one. And in the next episode, I will try to upgrade this magic box. So I will add some extra LCD screen. So we'll see what is the output voltage. So we will not have to use any kind of multimeter anymore. And if I disconnect the extra battery, then yeah, it's working all the time at full power. The case is quite cold. Where is my laser meter? Where is my magic pistol? There you are. So the temperature of the shell is 31 degrees. The temperature of the electronics inside is yeah, 45 maximally. So yeah, the, the core is like 45 degrees. So all is good, bros. It's safe to use.